around. And not one person from the Dragons, not one person from, from the NRL since my basically finishing up there in, in 2015, uh, 2016, sorry, has contacted me. Like, and, and that's mm. what I'm saying. Like, so I get, I'm getting a Christmas. We're, we're three months into my, into my business. So mm. I've opened up one of the F45, F45 franchises. Yep. In uh, Nara? Yeah, in Nara, yep. So I've opened that up. Um, it's going really well, but like any business, it takes time to get the money back. Yeah, yeah to 100%. get the money back. So, and, and I'm having to pay wages um, for my, my staff and, and whatnot. And we don't have enough members yet to pay it off. It's just, yeah. it's just business, business. Which, which I knew. Like, and and yep. that, that's fine. But uh, as I said, I'm led to believe my insurance money is sorted, which would have covered me. So I get to December, Christmas, and man, I'm getting calls from the banks left, right, and center. I can't pay any bills. It's like I, I was at the lowest of the low, man. Like, I, I've never been that, that like, you know, I was just like, what am I going to do? Like, yep. I'm getting calls from the banks every day and the business is going well for where it's at, but it's it's not doing enough to pay my house, pay wages. So I had to sell my house. So I've, and I've I've contacted, I've even spoke to someone at the Dragons and I'm like, man, like, can you can you talk to no them? One. Like, no one has called me. I mean, yeah. I, I could, like, you see these suicide things. I was in a position, like, luckily I'm, like, pretty strong-minded, had a really good family support. You no know, bank's going to give me a loan now to, yep. to, to buy a house because I've I've only been paying myself a wage for three months now. Yeah. So couldn't afford to do it that whole time at the start. And if anything, they'll probably see a bit of bad like rate like bad credit. Yeah, because you missed that first payments few months. That. I was yeah. I had to I had to ring the banks and get um I can't remember what it's called. Now, yeah, hardship, the relief. The hardship. Yeah. You know, like the, yeah. So I had, to, I had to do that. Like that was yeah. that was embarrassing for me. I was like I'm just to ring the bank and tell them I can't pay my mortgage. Like can you give me a couple of months off? Yeah. So and then and it's like all right, I've got to sell my house. <laughs> even like the, even worse than that. Like I sold before auction because I needed the money as quick as I could get it. So like I'm pretty confident in the real estate too. Pretty confident. Probably could have got more at auction, but it's ah, like so I needed desperate. that money as quick as I could get it. You know, could you got a trade like yeah, late well, I, TA? I, I can't, I can't even get a trade. Yeah, um, oh. on my back. Yeah, so that's the first, first thing the specialist said was like, you're not going to be able to do a trade or any sort of job like that. It's, so. a, it's a combination of a few different people. Yeah, definitely not myself because from day dot, I, uh, I rang Paul McGregor in October. I was due to be back. So the year before, 2015, I hurt my back playing. Um, against Parramatta, it was like round 20 or something like that. Yep. Anyway, I tried to sort of play play on with it for the rest of the year. Couldn't do it. I, I just struggled. Had a couple of cortisone injections, struggled to do it. Came semis, I, I had to pull out a plan. I played the week before, but I, I just struggled. Yep. I said to Paul, like, I can't, mate. Like, I'm, I'm a liability for the team at semifinals. You know, that, that was that was big for me to do. I'm Dragons, first, like, your second year at this club, we've, we've made the finals. Yeah. And I couldn't play, like, and it was on, on on me, you know. Yeah, you're making um, a choice kind of thing. Yeah, and then so I thought, I'll just rest it up. I'll get it ready for next year. So we've had our six weeks off, and man, over these six weeks, it's it's getting worse. Like I'm thinking, fuck, how, how does this get worse? Like, yeah, you I'm, haven't I'm off. Just, yeah, yep. I'm literally, I'm doing like rehab that I've done before, and I'm not doing too much. I'm not I'm not doing nothing at all. I'm just resting it as best as I can, but at the same time, trying to, trying to do some rehab. Yeah. And um, it got to a stage where like I, I couldn't even like sit down in the car for like twenty minutes without it just like my whole leg just aching. Oh, and it's yeah. like this is this is torture. So yeah, you think oh you know that's that's one specialist opinion. Let's let's hope the others is, is a bit different. Yeah. And mate, he dead set said word for word what the other guy said. And like they've got nothing to do with each other. Yeah. Completely yeah. different organisations, but they're both um, spinal surgeons. And when you hear that, like it's sort of I, I sort of like knew in my head like I sort of knew. It was going to happen. I was like, oh, man, I know they're going to tell me I can't play. Like, this is, it's pretty hey, bad. Dot, man, in a, within a week, within two weeks, I did everything possible that I All the paperwork, to do. everything, yeah. Yep. So the NRL knew, the Dragons knew, and then, so that that's, the Dragons really, really pushed it because obviously they wanted to try and get me off their cap. Yep. They then signed um, Timmy Lafay, so they basically signed him on my contract. Mm. Um, so yeah, it's a bit disappointing because I, I can honestly, I can blame the Dragons a bit for this slow process because from what I've heard, and I'm, I won't say who, like on here, yeah, yeah. It, it's taken them a good year to even fully lodge it to the insurance company. So it's like this whole year I'm, I'm working for them three, four days a week. I'm not obligated to. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I'm, it's just like, oh, here you go. Like, we'll start sorting it out now. But it's been seven months. And then I've just heard last week, I, I rang the RPA, which... If it wasn't for Mick Crocker at the RPA, like obviously he's an ex-player at South, so yep. I play with him at South. So um, if it wasn't for him, man, I'd, I'd be nowhere. Like I, I was ringing him, and it's not even his job. Like, but I'd be ringing him constantly, and man, like I'm not hearing anything. Like, no one's contacted me, and so he'd be on, he'd be on it straight away for me. And then yep. um, 
finally this lady, so my case was with someone, that bloke's now left them, so then it's given to someone else. She's got to then catch up on my thing. Mm. And then I found out last week there's a new a new broker for the whole insurance thing. So the mm. NRL have changed brokers, didn't even tell the RPA. Once the NRL didn't inform me there's been a change yep. of broker. And it's like, so now they've got to, everything's going through the pipeline with a new broker. So it could still be months away. Like, I mean, it could be a year away. You know, of the way the it's worst been. thing, I'm not guaranteed it. I'm not, I'm, I'm not guaranteed it. And uh, to, to be clear to everyone, it's only 75% of the contract you did sign and were, you know, supposed to be paid anyway. Yeah, so the last year. So not yeah. even the whole contract. So I signed a three-year contract with Dragon. So it's 75% of, of the last year of the contract. But yeah, look, it's, it's, it's disappointing because as you said before, I'm, I'm not trying to get millions of dollars out of some company for an accident. Like I hurt my back. I hurt my back playing football. I don't blame yeah. the game for it. Yeah. But, you know, it's part of the protocol. I pay my insurance. I did that my whole career. That's another thing. Yeah, you, you've been yeah. paying insurance your whole yeah. career. It's in the it's in there. Like that's what I'm entitled to. I've done everything I can possible to, to get it. Yeah. Um it's like I'm at the stage where I'm like, man, just give me a yes or no answer then like So, so you I can, can move on kind of thing. My life. Battle. Oh, that's forward. Forward pass, Mr. Cummins, you dickhead. Well I can't speak. Forward a mile. He's let it go. That one Stevie Wonder is in that five yards for it. Well, I can't speak. 